Hi, in this video we'll take a look at how you can leverage uh, Anaconda environments from within Jupyter Notebooks. Uh, for purposes of this video, to keep it as short as possible, I'm assuming uh, you are already familiar with Anaconda and Jupyter Notebook and you already have Anaconda or Conda environment, mini Conda or Anaconda and Jupyter Notebooks pre-installed. Um, so to get started, uh, what we'll do is we'll take a look at how um, an environment looks like if it's not integrated and how we can integrate um, uh, Jupyter Notebooks with uh, Anaconda. Uh, so I have a few environments that I've already created uh, on uh, on my environments or on my local machine. So Conda, let's list the environment. So I would suggest you create a new environment before proceeding. So I'm going to use the demo um, Conda environment. So um, so within the demo, let's actually run Jupyter Notebook. I'm assuming again you've already installed Jupyter Notebook. If not, it's a simple uh, Conda install Jupyter. Uh, so this is the default behavior. So I've just created a, a, a brand new environment. Um, and you'll notice that uh, if you don't already have Conda integrated, uh, one of the things that's easy to spot uh, to tell you if it's not integrated is you'll find there's a tab here um, that's missing, that's Conda. And uh, if you click on the new button, you'll notice that it does not list any of the Conda environments. So that's uh, that's a definite giveaway to tell you that uh, it's not uh, integrated with uh, Conda yet. Uh, so let's actually go back and uh, stop this. And what we need to do is uh, we need to install uh, uh, the one of the packages that's um, a Conda package. So Conda install N NB Conda. Uh, let's give it some time uh, and uh, for that package to install. Yep, uh, so now that the package is installed, uh, one of the things you definitely need to do is you need to deactivate and reactivate, otherwise it's not going to work. So, uh, so um, uh, that assumes that you were in an environment, so uh, you could obviously have installed the package uh, uh, without um, getting into the environment. Uh, so let's actually get back in and uh, now let's run Jupyter Notebook. Uh, this time around you'll notice uh, because of the new packages we have installed, uh, you have this tab here, Conda, which um, uh, this tab allows you to uh, manage your packages. Um, uh, you can create environments uh, right here or uh, install packages into uh, Conda environments here. But uh, more interestingly, uh, if you go back here and uh, you can now see these are all the uh, Conda environments that I had created. So again, you can easily create new notebooks um, uh, using um, any of the existing Conda environments that you have. And obviously, if you already have a notebook, um, this is a notebook which I had in place uh, before. Uh, so now I can specify that uh, I can uh, set a kernel for an existing one. And um, be, uh, whatever libraries you have um, in, in that uh, Conda environment is now made available. Um, so that's uh, quite convenient. Uh, again, the other option is if you already have uh, uh, notebooks already and you want to switch uh, uh, between um, different kernels uh, within a notebook, that's uh, fairly easy to do right here. So that sums it up for this uh, quick uh, help video. Uh, hope you hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.